We need to do something. We can't devolve into violence. Whatever happens next, it starts with working for change. There are fundamentally four things you need to know about Showtime's April 16th debuting Gorilla. One, Frida Pinto and Roy Kinnar are excellent in their respective roles of a fatally minted revolutionary and the racist Scotland Yard cop on the black power desk, really there was such a thing, hunting her and her cell in early 70s Britain in the six episode miniseries. And just the two of them alone, they make Gorilla something you should see. But two, English justice and fair play, as you will learn, is often neither, especially as the sun is being totally eclipsed on the over and done British Empire in 1971. And if you happen to be anything but white and male, well then, a rising anti-immigrant and prejudicial wave will try to knock you down, as it did many. Three, the penetrating cottage industry known as John Ridley has lost nothing in translation by the Oscar winner and American crime creator shifting his spotlight over the Atlantic. And fourth, and finally, despite all that, and some more in an admittedly malfurious and ambitiously overlapping narrative, which I'm not going to go too deep into at all, but to say is very involved, Gorilla really could have benefited from picking up the pace considerably. The establishment uses the color of authority to keep us down. This is what stops us from getting work. Educating prisoners is how we fight. Oh, come on, man. The next wave of activists are coming from there. Jobs first, man. Yes. Now in reality, revolutions and activism, they rarely move fast. They are like so many things in life, a process often of incremental movements until they either win, are destroyed, evolve, or simply wither away. And to that point, the two episodes directed by Ridley and the remainder done by Sam Miller, who also worked with on American Crime, which also co-star and are executive produced by Idris Elba, lives, as one character says, in an age of fear that is clearly connected to our own times, but also specific unto itself as modern Britain was being created out of economic chaos and a splintering but still striving sense of global revolutionary causes in groups like the Black Panthers, the Weathermen, more fighting the war in Vietnam, and West Germany's Bader Meinhof gang that often viewed democracy at least in the West, as just merely a decoration that was being revealed in this new media age. An age that saw the state, an age that seems a lot like our own in many ways, seemingly at war with its own citizens legislatively and punishing those who were in the minority. Tom being punished in the fatality that leads the left-leaning and frustrated couple of Pinto's subcontinent immigrant descendant Jasmerita and Babosa Sese's Marcus to go to the barricade, so to speak. Well, he's doing things for your people. No, it's all drama. That's all it is. Oh, you call me RT. He's just some unemployed English teacher that sold you on the theater of revolution. There might be lines about how cool it is being an urban gorilla in gorilla. But as one would expect from an artist of Ridley's caliber, this is serious television about the serious places people and a society can go and how far that rabbit hole descends. No spoiler, but you should watch gorilla. Be patient, but watch it because it is well worth the journey. Pinto, Canar, Elba, and all.